The news was announced on North Korea's KRT News. North Korea said it has acceded to an international treaty on space exploration regarding the launch by not giving an official date. A North Korean official has been quoted in South Korea's Yonhap News Agency as saying the launch would be between April 4 and 8. This latest development adds to mounting tension on the divided Korean peninsula. North Korea has said it is on the edge of war though many analysts doubt Pyongyang would send its poorly equipped military into a direct attack on the south. The United States said on Wednesday, March 11, that it could pursue a range of options against the state if it launches the long-range missile, including tougher UN sanctions. But in reality, the North faces little risk of punishment if it goes ahead with the launch. It is likely that China and Russia would use their Security Council veto power to block extra sanctions. If North Korea did launch a ballistic missile, it would violate a UN Security Council resolution that forbids Pyongyang from further nuclear tests or ballistic missile launches. South Korean officials say that the North has been assembling a Taipodong-2 at a missile base on its east coast. The missile was still indoors, but once set vertically and moved to a launch pad, it could be fired off in about 7 to 10 days, experts have said. The missile has the capability of reaching Alaska.